Dr. Norman Rosenthal is a 20-year senior researcher at the National Institute of Mental Health, who currently serves as clinical professor of psychiatry at Georgetown University Medical School. Dr. Rosenthal is internationally known for his medical expertise on post-traumatic stress disorder and world-renowned for his pioneering work on seasonal affective disorder, SAD, and for developing light therapy treatments for this disorder. He's the author of over 200 scholarly articles and five books for the general public, including the most recent book discussing breakthrough research on the healing and transformative effect of Transcendental Meditation, Dr. Norman Rosenthal. Well, thank you. I must say I have seen the videotape of David, George, and Julia many times, but it never fails to move me. And no wonder. A young person, a courageous young person, goes abroad to serve his country, is bombarded and shaken by the horrors of war, and comes back home a changed person. By day, he is tormented by intolerable memories and flashbacks. By night, his sleep is disrupted by nightmares that leave him drenched, as though he is back in the battlefield again. Sometimes, he turns to alcohol, to drugs, to risky behaviors, just to medicate himself and silence the alarm bells in his brain and his body that keep ringing, even though the danger is past. The danger is now coming from within, from the reverberating circuits. The fight or flight response system that is on overdrive, the alarm bells that don't stop ringing, even though the alarm has ceased to be of signal value. That is what we need to do. We need to silence, we need to soothe, we need to soften this fight or flight response system. And that is our task, and that is our mission. Now, how common is PTSD? As people know, all too common. But a recent report from the National Center for PTSD though, says that though estimates vary, 10% is about a fair estimate, which would mean 200,000 people, 200,000 souls in this country are having the same kind of ordeal that we have just seen described by David George. And for each of these people, there's a family, just like Julia, sitting by, helplessly watching. So clearly, what we have here is both a huge medical problem and a huge human tragedy. David George was one of five people whom we studied uh, in our organization in a pilot study of TM for PTSD. And awful as his story was and is, it is no exception. The other young people had stories that in their own way were just as harrowing and heart-wrenching as David's. And yet, four out of five people had the same level of transformation that we have seen described in this video. Let me have the first slide, if I may. Over there. Uh, that is the second slide. You can see it down okay. here. There we go. Um, these are the average results on five veterans. And if you look at that blue line, that is the CAP score. That is the gold standard for measuring PTSD symptoms. And you'll see in two months, it's reduced by about 50%, which is very significant, both statistically and clinically. Uh, next slide, please. This, this slide shows um, another study done in Vietnam veterans by researchers Brooks and Scarano almost 30 years ago. And as you see, 10 veterans were given TM training and 12 controls received the conventional psychotherapy of the time. After three months, ten of, seven of the ten TMers requested no further therapy, whereas the controls showed little improvement. Now, flash forward to the present day, where there is a very exciting uh, study being conducted on Congolese refugees 
in Uganda. We have Dr. Reese here in the audience somewhere over here. He's one of the um, architects of the study along with Fred Travis. And uh, it's a remarkable study given that these people have been exposed to unspeakable atrocities in their homeland of the Congo and are now displaced and reeling with symptoms of PTSD. The study is ongoing, but as of the one-month mark, 25 people who've received TM have experienced substantial benefits as opposed to 25 controls who have shown little improvement. Now, besides the results of these studies, we have all collectively seen hundreds of people with PTSD combat-related, non-combat-related, tremendously helped by TM. It's really impressive if you see it with your own eyes as you've done on the video. Conventional treatments, of course, have some benefits, psychotherapy and medications, but they fall woefully short of the mark, and clearly a new approach is needed. I would respectfully suggest that TM offers just such a new approach and in fact has the potential to be a game changer as it was with David. At this point I would like to say that I'm so delighted to be here to support my friend David Lynch and his wonderful foundation and this wonderful new initiative that is going to help so very many people. I'm also honored to be standing alongside the heroic veterans who have worked tirelessly in support of their wounded colleagues and comrades. It occurs to me that as a researcher, I look at the data and I say, wouldn't it be great to have more studies, larger numbers, more controls? Researchers always say that, by the way. But as a clinician, I say, you know, we just can't afford to wait for the results of those studies to come in. The situation is too dire. The potential and promise of this technique is too great. So what I say is that we really need to act immediately without delay to bring this simple but amazingly powerful technique to these people we're suffering so much. Thank you.